All right, today I'm going to start a different uh, version of uh, my friend's uh, dog. And uh, this one might be a lying down or sitting down dog. I'm not sure. I've got uh, this uh, wolf uh, sculpture and it shows me a pretty good way to pose it and all that stuff. But the first thing I'm going to do is make an armature using uh, <coughs> a dog's uh, skeletal structure from the web I got. I think that's a pretty good uh, thing to start with. So, and this is going to be the board I'm going to have it on. Kind of leery about starting it though without having my friend here to at least uh, give me some direction as to what he wants. Now if I have it standing on four legs, it's going to be very costly. And I don't want it to be costing him more to cast up than he has to spend. <sighs> I got some wire from, uh, some uh, armature wire from uh, SculptureDepot.net in Loveland, Colorado, and uh, I'm going to try this stuff out. I haven't had a chance to do that yet, so I this is a good time to do it. I'm just wondering, though, I ought to use this piece of scrap aluminum wire that I've got first pretty crooked but I can straighten it out by hand. Now the way I usually start an armature is I uh, take a photograph uh, or a drawing of a skeletal structure and I start <coughs> with that. And what I do is I just bend a piece for the uh, head and then I just uh, make the armature for the neck and the back. And right where the hip joins the backbone is where I stop. And then where the rib cage starts, I uh, bend the wire back as good as I can. around. So basically what I'm doing is just following the skeletal structure of the animal and uh, then I take uh, some electrician's tape and I just wrap uh, that around that to keep the backbone to keep the uh, rib cage together. There. Now I'll make the uh, front legs. where it's going to join up with the backbone. It's right there. There's the first joint in the shoulder. Right there. And the bone curves, so I'm going to show that curve. In this uh, armature, okay, that shows you just a little bit more of what I'm doing. Different angle on the camera. 
And I'm trying to match all the angles. There's a, a deep change in direction right there. Bone structure is just a little different than a horse. <laughs> That's where the joint is, right there. Yeah, see, I'm not leaving myself enough room on the end of the wire. Hmm. Got to figure something out. Well, if he's laying down, I am. So let's go ahead and continue what I'm doing. And it looks like his paws start right there. The joint for the paws starts right there. And uh, goes down to about there. I'm going to separate it a little. Come on, get in there. I'm trying to get where the shoulders meet the uh, backbone. There we go. Now, anyway. And bend around a little bit so that the uh, front legs will be about the right distance. All right, now I want to tape that onto the back gun bone to see how that looks. Looks about right. All right, let's do the rear legs. Now this is all I'm going to do today because I want to find out what he wants to do with the uh, animal. I have to sort of wait for him to come to the studio and he's been on the Missouri River for about the last week camping and I think he gets back tomorrow I'm not certain on that anyway I'll check with him tomorrow he's a an artist himself and he goes on the uh, Missouri and the Green River and the Jefferson and the Madison on uh, canoe trips and spends several days or a week on the river getting uh, material for his paintings he does uh, Western uh, style paintings, and if you're going to do that, you got to know what the West looks like, and that's what he does. He goes out and does research. Okay, I got the, the hips at the right angle. Now, I'm not going by this bone, I'm going by the bone on the outside. And I overbend it because I want it to have a sharp uh, angle to the uh, bone. Oh, it's, my thumb hurts. Getting old. Alright, looks like the uh, joint is right there. Now they're blowing out the uh, water in my sprinkling system, so 
that's why you hear that noise. Now see this is why I brought the uh, backbone right to there is because that where that bends that's where the the hips join the uh, backbone and it gives me the right length on the armature. There we go. All right, that gives me the the armature for a dog. What I'm going to do is separate the back hips a little to give it the uh, right distance between the uh, back legs, and there's my dog. All right, that's it. That's the uh, dog armature. It's a little high in the back because I, like I did, I, I left a little length on the. Uh, back wire but that pretty well gives you the idea of what uh, the armature looks like and, and showing you that you can just use a, a skeletal structure to uh, do that. Alright, see you guys next time when uh, Mr. Connor is here to help me out uh, as to what his vision is for what he wants me to do. Good night.